Mark, I was checking something in the flight counter and overheard a conversation between the flight officer and his assistant about some duplicate entries in the list of passenger names. This is a good example to introduce a set. Set like list, string, etc. is another data type in Python. Python also has a set function which can be used to remove duplicates from a list. It accepts a list and returns a set. A set is an unordered group of values with no duplicate entries. Set can be created by using the keyword set or by using curly braces. Set function is used to eliminate duplicate values in a list. To create a list, there is a syntax in the name of flight underscore set. Open the curly braces and close it within which you will have various values. If you look at this carefully, you will understand both the numbers 500, uh, 520 and of course 600 has got two entries. You see 520 here and 520 here. 500 here and 500 there. And 200 you see two entries and um, 600 also two entries. So this removes the duplicates from the given group of values to create the set. Eliminating duplicates from a list. So now we have an example. Passenger list is equal to it has uh, elements charge, Annie, Jack, Annie, Henry, Helen, Maria, charge, Jack and Remo. You see Annie and charge gets repeated and uh, the function set removes the duplicates from the list and returns a set. So when this passenger list is converted as a unique passenger set, right? So it removes charge, uh, one additional entry of charge and any, then it returns with without duplicates. How to retrieve common elements between a set two sets, set A and B? So this, this, this is how it is done. Set A and set B creates new set which has common elements from both set A and B. And uh, if you want to have elements that are only in set A, then we'll have to use set A minus set B. So this creates a new set which has only unique elements of set A. Merge elements of set A and B. So set in this operator and set B. So this creates a new set which has all the elements of set A and set B. For example, set A has number 1, 2. Set B has 3, 4. It returns, it creates a set in which it will store 1, 2, 3, 4, all the four values. Let's try out this example. So passenger list, it is a list which has these names. So we like to remove duplicates and print. We'll see the output up to this now. Let's execute the part of the code. The first one is the set and second one is the first one is the list and second one is the set. So using set function, we have converted the list passengers list to a set named unique passengers. So the first one is a set which starts with the square bracket and the second one is a list which starts with the curly braces, parentheses, curly braces, right? So all the duplicates are removed, right? Charge uh, uh, comes twice, so it's removed, it has removed charge, two charges. Then again, uh, any two entries being removed, right? Two entries of Jack is also removed. Then let's execute another part of the code. We have created another set named as flight set with values like 500, 520, 600, 345, 520, 634, 600, 500, 200, 200. You could see multiple entries of this, but when you try to print the value of this, you could see the multiple entries are being removed. No matter how many entries you give, it simply ignores them and takes only one entry, only unique entries. That is the beauty of set. So there are two lists, uh, flights at source and flights at destination. So we're trying to print the value of both. Now we will try to have set, we will we'll, we'll convert these list into set because at times um, it might have duplicate entries because list can have, if you look at this AI704 comes twice, right, BA944 comes twice, right. So now we will convert this into a set. Now let's see the difference between list and set, with the available list flights at source, flights at destination, 
now we have converted this to a set using a set function so this helps us to convert list into set and stores unique elements let's see the difference the first one is the list and second one is the set list allows to have allows multiple entries duplicate entries but set does not allow removes duplicate entries even if it exists we know that set a minus set b gives the elements that are only in set a so if you want to have uh, unique elements um, that are only in source flights right we can do that by doing unique element unique source flights minus unique destination flights if you do that we will get the result as the unique flights that are only in source uh, flights that's one only in the source loop only in the source yes starting this place let's execute and see the output so ai 230 b4 nine double four if you look at the list you will understand right ai 230 is not at all available in the second list right then ba944 so ba944 is not at all in the second list or second set but when it comes to em935 is available both in source and destination let's find out the common flights that are available in both sr source and destination unique src flights and and symbol we use here unique destination flights with which we should be able to retrieve the common flights so we know that em395 and ai704 em395 yes it's available both are set then they say ai704 ai704 is available in both places both source and destination so using ampersand finally set uh, combining two sets you take all the element list of all the flights at the source and destination airports so using this symbol this operator we can take all the flights available both uh, source and destination so there's a complete list of flights which is being operated or which is available in the both the source and the destination airports